Hey, this Queen Victoria is pretty skinny compared to the ones I see everywhere else. This must be a young Victoria. <laughs> I'm used to seeing the big old fat woman. That's simple enough. All right, $10 gets us one of these, which is a 24 hour pass for unlimited travel on their subway system. So we're, we're good with that. Keep us busy for a while. 10 bucks, good deal. All right, we're deep inside uh, Montreal subway. Uh, we're at Peel station and an interesting fact I've just been told by Brian is that their subway cars run on rubber wheels so I'm just waiting for one to come along before we jump on because I gotta see this for real do they really run on rubber wheels oh yeah oh my god rubber wheels <laughs> oh my god <laughs> look at that's insane See that? Rubber wheels on a train. <laughs> Alright, I've just seen a subway train with rubber wheels. I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's different, totally different. Olympic rings. So Brian was just telling me that this particular station was built for the 1976 Olympic Games and that's why it's so big and there's hardly anyone here. This is huge. It's like being at a major sporting arena like Old Trafford, not on match day. But this is a station that runs 24 hours a day and no one's around. It's yeah, eerie. Very eerie. Very 70s, though. Definitely very 70s. Okay, when I first walked in here, I honestly thought it was kind of the posted sorting office, because the signage is the same colour as kind of the post and I don't read French